basketball because it is opening night, by the way. Man, and, this is... And there was a lot of stuff happening in the offseason. So let's just go through some of them. How about the, how about the Boston Celtics with the addition of Kristaps Porzingis and the addition of Drew Holiday? Uh, you know what? I went crazy one week. I said, man, when Dame Lillard went to Milwaukee, I said, wow, that is awesome. Then the next week, the Celtics went out and got my man, Drew Holiday, and I said, ooh, that's even better. How about Chris Paul? Well, this is one that's going to be most, well, it won't be the most interesting one to me, but I'm looking at I tell you what, though, man, the Lakers are loaded, loaded. y'all. They loaded. They are loaded. Yeah, they got a lot of guys that really know what they're doing. They're, yeah. they're they basically the same starting five, and then you bolster the bench the way they did. Yeah. They, they probably have the most overall improvement. Oh, my gosh. The yeah, most but overall. they still got to put it together. Meantime, the Grizzlies will start the season without John ja Morant. Yeah, but I, the, the Stephen Adams thing, I think, is huge for yeah, them. Yeah, that is. They, they add Marcus Smart to the mix. But uh, missing, uh, losing, losing Stephen Adams for the whole year is going to really hurt yeah, the Grizzlies. Gonna, yeah, 100%. And now here's that Milwaukee team that has that guy, Dame Lillard. Well, yeah. Yeah. Dame Dollar going to Milwaukee, man. That is great. I'm happy for him. And, uh, man, the Eastern Conference... Hey, the Eastern Conference is going to come down to two teams. Milwaukee and Boston. Yes. Is what you're going to say. Meantime, Bradley Beal in Phoenix now. This is my pick for the West. you got three of the most prolific scorers on the same team. My only concern is which one is going to sacrifice. Well, they got to do a lot of sacrifice in the kid, Shaq, not just a little. So there's only one ball out there. Well, it's, you haven't you played on the Olympic teams, you guys, where you're multiple players and you didn't have a problem with that? Yeah, but it's, it, well, it's a little, you can't compare this to the Olympics. I'm just saying, team, no. I'm just saying, why not? Well, uh, they're, they're not as good as us. CarMax one-on-one, -on -one. here's some other moves that uh, that you might take note of with, uh, with Portland getting DeAndre Ayton, Malcolm Brogdon, uh, Robert Williams, uh, Bruce Brown gone from that Denver championship team. He's in Indiana now. So is Obi Toppin by way of New York. John Collins in Utah. Jordan Poole goes to the Wizards. Max Struess out of Miami to Cleveland. Fred Van Vliet out of Toronto uh, to Houston. Dylan Brooks there also. And Grant Williams, now a member of the Dallas Mavericks. So, man, just all kind of stuff happening. And, and, and Shaq, when you take all of that in its entirety what are you left to think about who's going to have ring night next year well i think about a bunch of ifs uh, positive ifs you know if dame and greek can get it together definitely going to be big uh in the eastern conference the western conference phoenix suns the reason why i said one guy has to sacrifice because chuck can you know you have to establish your one-two punch right consistency like which guy's going to be the, the number one guy which guy's going to be the two guy now the guy that's going to have to you know really sacrifices that third score and I think it's Bradley Bill but Bradley Bill is the most dangerous third score in the NBA so I like Phoenix in the West I don't usually pick teams this early but if those guys can put it together I see Phoenix coming out of the West and of course Milwaukee coming out of the East uh, of course Milwaukee is there no question yes. in your mind he forgot where we were on ring night I didn't forget it for a hot second you first, first, hold on first no no first of all Joker is still the best big man in the league this is just my opinion. Okay. Just my opinion. Yeah, but when they I love you, you, you huh? kind of got surprised. But they no, I didn't get surprised. Well, I, I am really excited about the Western Conference. The, 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 well, first of all, the Nuggets are going to be there because of Joker. Um, I do. They're going to have to replace Brown. I really like Brown a lot. They got to replace him. But the question marks are... The Lakers and the Phoenix Suns. We're going to have to wait and play it out because you don't play basketball games on paper. But the Nuggets are going to be terrific. But the Suns, uh, the Suns are going to be good. And the Lakers are going to be good. But the, but the Lakers, I've said the same thing three years in a row. The Lakers are going to come down to Anthony Davis. That's the only reason he could, he's the guy who's going to take them to the next level. Well, you know, as you look at LeBron in his 21st season, I mean, the guy averaged 28 points a game. If you looked at the Lakers last year when they played the Nuggets, you say, what is the reason they lost? Or I just swept, by the way. Swept. Why did they lose? 
I, I would say they weren't deep enough. I didn't think that they could bring guys into the game. Anthony Davis actually had a decent series against the Nuggets last year. But they weren't deep enough to continue the momentum. So they said, we have to get a better bench. We're going to bring in Woods. We're going to bring in all of these guys. We're going to have Rui. All of these players, they trying to load. They're loading up to play against one team, the Denver Nuggets. The, everyone in the West is playing against one team. If you're not a deep basketball team, you cannot beat the Denver Nuggets. So I don't care what everyone else does in the West. If you're not deep and you only have those three players in Phoenix and they don't have guys who can sustain it, they cannot beat the Denver Nuggets. What separates Boston and Milwaukee in the East in your mind? Well, <laughs> they just... Talent. <laughs> talent, number one. I think that... Listen. There's, there's plenty of talent on both sides. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought no. you meant from the East. No, Separate no. From each other. Mid well, well, each other. Oh, okay, well gotcha. listen. I told you, during that week period, when the Bucks got Dame, I said, man, the Bucks are going to be the favorite in the East. And then the next week, the Celtics went out and got Drew Holiday. Well, that so, was the same but, week. So for me, and I, I, like, I like the Porzingis trade also. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. I like Marcus Smart. But the one thing the Celtics been missing for the last few years is a point guard. And they got probably the best point guard from a defensive standpoint, definitely. So the, my pick coming out of the East is the Boston Celtics. But I think Boston still has to put it together. Me and you have been heavily criticizing Porzingis. We don't know which Porzingis is going to show up. Yeah, but Shaq, yeah, Porzingis but you still is got Jalen Brown and yeah, but see, yeah, see, see Shaq, Adam. show up. See, this is why I disagree with you on the Porzingis thing. He don't have to be... Porzingis. Porzingis. <laughs> he going he to be the fourth best player. You said you said that Drew uh, uh, Bradley Beal was the third. guy out there with those guys. You, but I'm saying, you center. said you that Bradley Beal was the third, third best player on the third best weapon. Yes. Porzingis going to be the fourth best weapon in the NBA. Not if he don't well, on, the the on the Celtics. On the Celtics. Well, he's saying that Drew Holiday is going to do the, 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 the heavy loader. I, I just think that one undervalued thing of Porzingis is his defense. His rim protection, his ability. Ooh, you gotta be, man. Get rid of that old spice. Oh, baby, that's honey. <laughs> Smell like honey. Smell like honey. But no, I think his defensive presence is underrated, that he could switch on multiple positions and guard the rim. Boston is tough, and you had another defensive player with Drew Holiday. Yeah, ooh, it's, no, it's... Uh, it is going to be fun gonna to be watch. Tough. Yes, East, it is. You stand west as we get started. Oh, the west going to be crazy. NBA season. <laughs> Look at this dude yeah. posing. Are you serious, Rocky? <laughs> yeah. Underdog, put oh, that on the t-shirt. Yeah. It's over there. They got a whole thing. <laughs> hey, man, we're sure that. Oh, oh that's finally good. Finally here. Thank you, Ash. Indeed it is, and we are so... Happy to be here. <laughs> Say it again, sure. Chuck. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> the official Nuggets burner. <laughs> Chuck refusing a smack. Okay, Brian. The a season of firsts. Oh, whoa! How about hey. this action? Whoa! Now Zayfer going when to work. When you win the championship, whoa. you can wear that to work. Yeah. I'm on not ring, gonna hate on that. On ring night or you can or wear that. Night. Oh, that's tremendous. I dare you to wear that, Chuck.